All right, folks, and welcome back to the Big Toy Auction. We got more of what you came for here. We are finishing up some of our Elvis catalog today. If you've been following along, we've got a lot of Elvis coming at you. It's going to come up to you the end of this month, uh, beginning of next month, right in that area. You can bid on it uh, using the information here at the bottom of the screen uh, at thebigtoyauction.com. We're going to open up bidding pre-bidding on any of these items right up until the moment that we go live. So you see these items right here, you like them, you go you bid on them, and come the day of the live auction, if you're not the highest bidder, you can bid again. If you are the highest bidder, then it is yours. That's how it's going to work. That's how all of our items here work at the Big Toy Auction. We're happy to have you here again. I'm Chris, the auctioneer at the Big Toy Auction. Uh, as always, if you like what you see, give us a like, a shout out, share it with a friend, and follow us along because we got more good stuff coming up. We're going to start off here. This is our fake news lot. You got National Enquirer Elvis. I'm going to take a couple of pictures as we go behind the scenes. This is what we do. You may think that auctioneering is a lot of fast talking and hammering the gavel. It's not. It's tons of taking pictures and doing research on what we uh Got you, it's dumpster dive, not dumpster diving, but attic diving. Going through attics and barns to bring you this stuff. Uh, working with consigners who bring this in. Now, luckily, we didn't have to go through too many attics on this. A consigner brought this in. And we were real happy about it. This is our fake news. This is the Inquirer. This is Elvis. As you see here, this is on the anniversary of his death from 1978. Uh, just almost a, a year and a week. Um, should be soon the 41st anniversary and of course elvis's first grandchild this isn't too too crazy in terms of the fake news that i like to see we love the fake news the tabloids you're going to get both of these pieces one and two you're going to get them both and i'm going to go through uh show you what to expect so some neat older pieces hey iacocca well that's not very outlandish at all that's not what I expect to see. There's a Lee Iacocca, a Lehigh Valley native, which is where we'll be selling this stuff out of, right here in the city of Bethlehem. His family still owns Yakos in this area. Obviously a, uh, a version of the Iacocca name. Um, that's his uncle, if I'm not mistaken, in this area. And uh, graduate of, or well, a degree recipient of Lehigh University right here in Bethlehem, PA. So some neat stuff. Wow, look at how young Jack Nicholson is. Look at how old, how young all of them are. But this is what you can expect. This is going to be our next fake news lot right here. And you can get it only at the Big Toy Auction. All right, so that's what you can expect. We're going to do it again. Second verse, same as the first right here. Of course the FBI is going to dig up Elvis's grave. After all, they're covering up something that went to war, I'm guessing, based on what we're looking at right here. This is, hey, wow, this is actually the New York Post. <laughs> um, usually when it is the fake news stuff that we got here in the tabloids, is a lot of this kind of bat boy stuff from the Sun and the Inquirer. So it's interesting to, uh, New York Post considers itself an actual news source, so that's kind of neat. But this has a, a behind-the-scenes look, so it's not quite as tabloidy, but still some fun stuff. Let's uh, center it in the photo here so we can get a better shot of it. We are very happy with this new widescreen uh, approach that we have here. We get all this area to work with so you can see it better. I'm happy about it. Folks, if you like what we're doing here with the videos, I know I'm talking a lot here, but I want to get your opinion, um, please let us know while I take some photos. Leave some messages in the comments. Uh, let us know what you think, what we can do better, what we've done worse, etc. Here's the back of it just so you get an idea, and I'll take you through real quick uh, the insides. We love to hear from you. Uh, we like to make our auctions the best possible experience that you can have. So anytime you can uh, leave us some messages to let us know what you'd like to see more of or less of. I do a lot of the talking here while we describe the items. So here you go. Here's On the Town with Elvis. That way we can, uh, there's not a whole lot of Elvis in here, it's just that. The rest is just news of that day. But the other one here, oh man, more tabloid. We do this to uh, to give you a full idea here. 
I'm not sure what I was what I'm looking at right there. Wow. <laughs> There's uh, Paul Rodriguez, for those of you who remember him, as well as um, a very young-looking Ringo and a very young-looking uh, King. In this case, um, in this case, uh, Stephen King, rather than the King himself. But if you can leave us messages, we like to make this the best experience for you. So, since you can't be here with us to handle these items in person, we give them to you uh, like this. That way you can see the way the light moves off them. If there's any kind of uh, blemishes, tears, you get to see the inside. And we're gonna... Did I get those shots? Let me get those shots one more time. I think I got them, but we just want to make sure. Okay. But that way you get a chance to see exactly what you're going to be bidding on. So you see a little bit of the yellowing, etc. But that's normal for 80-year-old paper. There he is. There's Elvis the King, folks. Looking exactly like he did about 10 years after his death. Wow, that's uh, 17 years after his death. Hard to believe. Um, so here you go. Here's our next fake news lot. Some more tabloid stuff as we get some photos. Uh, obviously when Michael and uh, Lisa Marie were married for a brief amount of time. And where's our Elvis in here? Here we go, the Elvis and the Priscilla. So there you see that. We'll show you a quick photo of the back. Again, we do this so that you can see uh, exactly what you're getting in the auction since you can't be here with us in the gallery. And we know that the, um, we know that the, uh, sometimes the gallery photos can be a little bit uh, wanting. You know, you're going to get one or two still images, and this lets you see a lot more. The other nice thing is, because I'm describing it all right here for you, it means that you don't have to hear me talk as much during the auction itself. We can just throw it up here, say lot number 200, and get it going. All right. So you see, roughly, wow, Cocoon the Return, how about it? And uh, Lorenzo Lamas looking very young. So there you go. That's what you're going to see here. Elvis looking good at a ripe old age of, uh, what would he have been there, about uh, 59? Oh, there it is, 59. Yep. So there we go. That is our next lot of tabloid papers. You will see these coming up. Let me make sure. I keep forgetting to take the back photos, I think. Let me make sure. I want to make sure you got something in the, in the catalog. You'll see these coming up at our next auction, right in early August, I think, is when we have it scheduled. Hey, hey, the link is at the bottom of your screen, folks, so you can go and check that. Head right on over and leave some pre-bids right up until the moment it goes live. So you see a little bit of bending on the cover right here, a small tear, something that might not have shown up, as well as a little bit of a fringe there. Something that might not have shown up in the gallery photos, but you get a chance to see it, because I want to make sure you know what you're bidding on. Let's get a couple of shots here. Looking good, Elvis, at 57. So I guess between 57 and the previous one, 59, he lost oh, quite a bit of hair. What a shame. But for a dead man, looking pretty good. All right, so Elvis's tomb is empty, and then he marries just days ago. How far off are these? This is 1990 and 1992, so we know where he went directly from here to there. And there you go. We'll get you a quick picture of the back, and then we'll sort through them just a little bit. Just to see what you're going to be getting. Solid gold 10K heart. Folks, $2. How about it? All right. <laughs> All right. So, of course, 10 minutes. Now, most courses will make you read minds in about 15 minutes. So this is a good deal right here. CIA alien connection exposed, of course. Elvis marrying the Mississippi waitress. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right there. And I didn't notice if Chelsea was in there. Uh, Princess Di. So this dates this magazine quite a bit. Since this would have been 92, so still alive and kicking. Why are you hearing the voices in your head? 
asked the Countess. Of course he sues. What is going on here? Crocodile knife! Hopefully you can still buy that. Because I'm sure you want it. And there you go. So that'll give you an idea of what you're going to be buying right here. This is our next lot of fake news. Some tabloids. You're going to get both pieces in that lot. And now you know everything that we know about it. You've seen it as much as we have. So let's move on to the next lot. We have some more for you. Hey, it's Holly from General Hospital. For those of you who are old and watch um, soap operas or whatever she played on Dynasty. I don't know. And I can't remember the name right now. Okay. Not Fiona Hughes. All right. Wow. do better or what you like have fun some fun with it obviously i don't know how, how they did this back in the day i don't know how, what the legality of this was when you just write nonsense eerie spirit of teenage girl haunts the restaurant and uh, well we've all done that we've all sat down on our elephant to read i mean that's that's just that's good news that's not fake news mom trades twins for two prize cats and a cat to be named later all right, and so you get an idea of what you're going to get. Oh, these were so much fun in the day. I have not seen a single Bat Boy article. I believe that was what, the Inquirer that did a... No, it was Weekly World News. That's right, it's Weekly World News that did the Bat Boy. I have not seen any Bat Boy, but maybe that's because these headlines from this consigner are mostly brought in by, um, by uh, Elvis and our Elvis consigner. Of course, the world's greatest surgeon is totally blind. All right, so that'll give you an idea of what you're seeing right there. We got a phone bitter, it looks like, so we've got to take care of that. Uh, we will be back in just a moment, but thank you. Uh, you can leave vid here in the uh, pre bid in the catalog. Go visit it, and we will be with you as soon as we can. Thanks again, folks. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. We're going to catalog some more items for you and get moving, show you what we got coming on up.